in Shanghai, I can see it. Of course, it's accurate. Yeah, we why we uh, achieve such a good result and quite low mortality rate and control the epidemic uh, so quickly in whole China. So I just want uh, following the 30 or uh, 30 minutes, I share yeah. some uh, experience uh, and uh, tell you about uh, the uh, the same data and uh, yeah. some take a uh, picture with you? experience uh, yeah, about uh, the uh, diagnosis oh and treatment uh, and uh, prevention. Three. Yeah. And uh, first of all, uh, in Shanghai and uh, old, uh, in Hu China, uh, Hu China, uh, we so I just uh, was asked uh, to Fox uh, the uh, every cities, uh, every province, uh, yeah, and Fox some the, the, the patient, the, uh, the just uh, uh, and several and hospitals, uh, not uh, the who hospital yeah, uh, treated this patient. Uh, so we we, we said uh, in the Fox, Fox. Yeah, and uh, we put the patient uh, together and uh, invite the expiser and uh, famous uh, asked uh, and uh, the experienced uh, doctors uh, together and uh, the medical resources and treatment uh, together. So uh, it's just in Shanghai. Nowadays, we only one hospital receive the all adult cases in this. In this is the. Shanghai and Public uh, Health Medical Center. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, after January 27th, uh, I stayed at uh, this hospital. And, uh, so now there's uh, almost uh, I stayed at this hospital already together. Almost three months already. And every day, morning and afternoon, we discussed the old cases, especially for the severe or the critical cases, and discussed the treatment plan and do some additional medical services like that. And after one month, we already. We, we yeah, treating this patient in, in Shanghai. Morning, we uh, edit uh, uh, the, the comprehensive the treatment the uh, and uh, uh, management and of the uh, COVID-19 expert uh, consensus. We found uh, uh, if we follow this uh, the consensus uh, or the uh, therapy uh, plan, the result is uh, quite good. We, we, like the initial patient in Shanghai, morning, we, and, uh, and according to the Chinese regulation, uh, we classified the, the uh, COVID-19 into four the categories. Expert uh, concepts. Uh, One is mild type. Uh, if we is this usually is little to mild uh, symptoms. Then. The result uh, is no pneumonia in on the major examination. And uh, the others, if the patient uh, have the, the uh, imaging classified uh, changes, the, yeah, we call the, the pneumonia. So, so the mild type actually do not have the pneumonia. The and the one is the mild type. Uh, Among the pneumonia patients, patient, uh, usually also divided into ordinary to, type. And the severe type symptoms, and the critical uh, type. No, no if the patient in, uh, with the, the short termination is of this, the spinal rate uh, more than thirty uh, minutes, the, uh, yeah, per minute. Uh, and uh, imagine yeah, the other changes, uh, criteria yeah, we is uh, the arrhythmia oxygen. So, yeah. So oxygenation the uh, saturation is less than nineteen three percent, and uh, divided to large that type, we and the severe type as the, the severe type. type. If and the, the if the patient's condition is uh, quite uh, severe, have to to the, receive the mechanical ventilation or the uh, Low blood pressure uh, have to uh, use the drugs and the other the organ failure or have to send to the, the ICU monitoring and treatment if the patient and as the critical type. Uh, quite uh, severe, of course, 
the, just the, like the, the, the other countries, countries. Yes. we yeah. uh, uh, we diagnose uh, the disease uh, is according to the uh, etiological uh, evidence is the, the PCR or the antibody. Uh, IgG or IgM, but of course, uh, most of them is just the best, uh, the real time for the uh, most such as PCR. PCR. Uh, just like if the positive, the, we the make sure that this is confirmed the cases. We diagnose uh, the patient. However, is the initially the, and the, in some cases, we found the PCR, the, or the CT scan. Uh, found uh, is just IGM. typical but changes, course, uh, just like this one. Is just but the best, uh, some cases, the, new for the nuclear the acid, uh, we do PCRs. some, even sometimes, and still like show the, the negative. Uh, we make sure that this how to diagnose this, this patient. Uh, and we found uh, uh, usually sometimes we have some to combination of this. Uh, the methods. The uh, even the nuclear acid is, is negative, typical, but, but uh, uh, the PCR, this one uh, uh, the, the CT scan the is the typical. We still diagnose it. Of course, this is the, just suspected, the but uh, the patient uh, treated have to according patient to uh, uh, and the, we found similar to the, the, the confirmed case. Sometimes we have to compare. Uh, so this, uh, in China, uh, uh, especially the initial the stages, the first the months the of the uh, epidemic, the PCR, we change uh, the, the CT scan, scan is the uh, most the important. Uh, uh, even sometimes uh, the uh, uh, PCR is uh, not uh, available. Uh, initially, uh, for some uh, hospital or the, for the clinicians, uh, to the, the confirmed case. after uh, months, so we found the chest CT scan, especially the frequently uh, for most of the patients, is the quite useful. Of course, for a symptom or the, for the mild cases, CT scan, of, of course, uh, is should not be used. And theoretically, serum antibody is quite good and very important. But we found the accuracy, the specific and the sensitivity is not as good as the nuclear acid test. So currently, for Chinese hospital, the hospital in China. We put the serum antibody antibody detection antibody is just a supplement for important. the diagnosis. But uh, of course, uh, uh, after uh, uh, later, I, I confirm and this it will be is not as the as the uh, precision is increased, uh, it will be useful, so the, especially uh, for the patient for uh, uh, and the hospital last in China. We several weeks already, the and the long, relatively long duration already, and this have to, the yeah, the of antibody course, will be the uh, uh, relative uh, 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 valuable I, I then I to the this uh, nuclear be, acid. It's not the, the, as so the, this the is, uh, is increased. Uh, my dad uh, uh, is presented two months ago in China. Uh, I told my the colleagues, last, yeah, uh, we China, should uh, complete to the, the epidemiology. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, nowadays epidemiology uh, may, uh, may be uh, meaningful uh, because uh, this uh, already uh, global uh, epidemic. Uh, and the fever uh, and the cough is not less useful because most of them have relatively low the uh, fever, or even do not have any fever or the cough, we and just a uh, tired uh, like that. To the and the chest CT for the general or the and the severe or critical pneumonia cases is important. And the fever and but the cough for the aseptic or the mild cases, it's not uh, as useful uh, as the, yeah, the as and uh, so we should combination this uh, criteria.
evil or even do not have. In, in Shanghai, we try to pay attention to the identified list and the active intervention to cover the severity of pneumonia. Just like the patient, if you treat or separate this patient, first of all, you should have to pay attention to it. If this belongs to the mind or the ordinary or the severe or the critical cases, and are there any indicators the patient uh, will develop it to the severe the or the critical cases. And after the first month uh, therapy of treating this COVID-19 pneumonia, uh, in Shanghai experts uh, found that this indicator will be important. Yeah, or the severe, or the we, most cases. of us already know and the elder man will be the indicator, indicator for the severe the pneumonia. And except the, the old man or the, the, the diabetic and, and the, the hypertension and the coronary heart disease, we also found that over obesity is a big. A very important uh, indicator for the portion, uh, for the, the, the uh, severe uh, condition uh, progress. Uh, and uh, uh, also the rapidly progresses of the lung uh, imagination and the, the CD4 T cell count. This is the uh, first indicator we found in, in Shanghai. Uh, uh, in, in, in China, we found that this is an important uh, indicator. Yeah, if the CD4 count is less than 200, and some cases is less than 100, that means the patient uh, most probably will develop it to the severe or the critical uh, condition. We have to pay more, more attention to such cases. And of course, the interleukin-6 level is also important. And, and uh, the others. CD4 with count this list to us if the CD4 we found some cases the first one is like this one the CD4 is greater than the 2000 we found that the pneumonia is quite wild we have yeah. More very few, or oh, some cases, cases even the nascent found the, the chest the CT. Level is, is and uh, if the CD4 decrease, and that this pneumonia will become the severe. Uh, so we found the CD4 is very important in, in the case. And this also shows the low CD4 at the beginning of the disease, the longer duration of the virus cleanliness. And also, uh, if we found this patient, we pay more attention to the intervention. Of course, uh, intervention the like this, yeah. uh, or the therapy. Yeah, the first of all is, uh, of course, is uh, antiviral drugs, and the second is the oxygen therapy. That is the immunity. How to deal with the patient, uh, such as the sleeping, uh, the nutrition, or the mood, mood manager. And, and keep the patient uh, the very high good like immunity, yeah. uh, especially the therapy, during the yeah. past yeah. month. Yeah. Is, uh, uh, more and more uh, uh, patients uh, immigrate uh, from the other the country is to China, to Shanghai. Uh, we found that these patients uh, after uh, the uh, international traveling, their immunity condition is not so good. We found uh, the nutrition and also the and the Carole, the yeah, nutrition, the and of course, the inside the, the environment uh, is uh, also in, in important. The uh, and the patient, uh, and the, from the avoid extensive the usage of antibiotics. We Initially, we after the, uh, cannot uh, 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 identify this patient the is just uh, the COVID-19 uh, or the mixed with the other pneumonia. Yeah, and so yeah, we, yeah, in some and cases, course, we use the uh, antibiotics, but now it's in this, we can, uh, also uh, we can ensure 
uh, such a case is uh, just uh, an uh, COVID-19 without a combination with the other uh, infectious disease. So we strictly use the antibiotics for such cases. Of course, still is uh, uh, steroids, and uh, we also found the anti uh, is very important. These patients, uh, all the, the virus uh, uh, invaded such a is not only just uh, the uh, lung or the upper respiratory tract uh, mucus, still maybe invade the gesture intestinal mucus, and also maybe for the vessels. Yeah. Also yeah. found that so we, we have to use the coagulation uh, at the early uh, stage. All the, the virus uh, 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 regarding this, not only to the antiviral uh, therapy uh, lung uh, in, or the in Shanghai, uh, uh, we use the hydroxy chlorine uh, 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 very early, also uh, maybe uh, around uh, the. Also the February 10, we, we to began to use uh, this drug. But, but, uh, uh, of course, the during that time, the we still try to the uh, lip nave and the little nave combination, and also use the abidor. But now we focus only for almost all patients during the. Well, past the two months, we we restricted to, to the hydroxychloroquine. Uh, uh, of course, during that time, we still and try the, to the. Uh, 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 sometimes the we combination with the, the interfering uh, alpha and, uh, or the interfering kappa, abidor, but uh, not. But now we restrict to, to use the as a antiviral drugs. All patients during the. And the, this is our data. We found the abidor and the lipnovi combination, and compared to the control, we should the the nuclear acid nuclear later maybe it's similar. So in Shanghai, we at the early stage we quickly stop use the we live nowhere little nowhere, and this has machined first anti angular rates is important, especially for the mild cases transfer to the severe or transfer to the critical. This is one of the important. In measures. We, at the early stage, we quickly uh, regarding the steroids uh, the, uh, in Shanghai expert team. This issue is initially is not uh, the same. Uh, yeah, some, and expert, and some doctors uh, uh, suggest to use the steroids. The uh, some doctors uh, uh, suggest to, to use this one. Uh, but now uh, we found is, uh, one of the important uh, we should strictly use it. But uh, for a little regarding the steroids, uh, small percentage of the cases uh, in, uh, in the special uh, situation, uh, this, uh, such a lies for the some cases relative severe symptoms such as the fever. And uh, 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 the, the chest pneumonia developed we very quickly. Uh, we can use uh, we should strictly shortage and the low dosage uh, steroids uh, for such a cases, cases and maybe as uh, used uh, so we just uh, with caution carefully for the for now severe patients we, we use the steroids and the relative uh, low uh, dosage, uh, yeah, uh, only 20 to 40, 40 milligrams uh, per day. And uh, even for severe cases, uh, we still use the relative low uh, usage dose. And uh, usually the cost is only three to six days. So we, we found that uh, for some, it's, uh, maybe it's useful, of course. Uh, if you use the steroids, maybe delay the violent cleanliness. 
Yeah. Uh, among the and even for uh, severe cases, swab, we still uh, use uh, swab and the fecal virus nuclear acids negative net duration will be relatively long. Yeah. For the oral pharyngeal, the steroid is the virus cleanliness uh, 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 will be 15 and the controls do not use the steroids only 80 days. And also we found the immune module rectory jacket relative use may be the help for for the patient to establish uh, or improve the uh, immune uh, uh, condition. And this is and sure the as uh, uh, the uh, early stage will uh, uh, use uh, antibiotics uh, fre frequently. But now we check also we so had low uh, usage rate. Uh, and uh, also oxygen the therapy for, uh, uh, is important for yeah. the patient. Uh, of course, so first of all, is just a general the nasal canal uh, or the mask oxygen therapy. And uh, if the patient uh, this uh, is the oxygenation the failed to meet the, the treatment requirements use, uh, 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 after receive uh, uh, the general uh, oxygen uh, therapy, uh, so we for some patient uh, use the half low nasal kind uh, oxygen therapy. Uh, uh, and uh, a few cases, uh, if the patient uh, developed to the severe condition, uh, we have to use. Uh, uh, yeah. in yeah. non invasive uh, oxygenation uh, positive pressure ventilation or even the invasive uh, uh, mechanical ventilation but, but uh, this agent uh, is uh, quite uh, so we small percentage uh, most of them is the, is the only uh, one of months uh, uh, but and nowadays, uh, uh, only patients, very few uh, the patient, uh, percentage uh, of patients uh, have uh, uh, moved to these uh, we have severe conditions uh, and have to uh, use the non invasive, invasive mechanical uh, uh, ventilation, ventilation, uh, ventilation uh, or even the invasive. Uh, of course, uh, internal intervention, stability, uh, nutrition, uh, sleeping, uh, and the mood uh, management uh, is uh, important. Uh, of them if is the only for the mind or the but now uh, this uh, the cases you do not pay more attention to you neglect uh, these uh, uh, issues have to the patient some patient will develop to the severe care condition. So of course, uh, uh, for the old hospitalized patient, we pay uh, more attention to, especially for the some indicators, sure as if this uh, patient will develop a severe condition uh, in that uh, situation. The support treatment is needed to suggest to ensure the sufficient priorities Develop, uh, especially for the condition. international so, traveling uh, uh, for the old guests the from the other country because they, they especially we the found us, most the of them do, do not the take the plane direct the flight uh, in just uh, several cities already the even the 30 or the 40 hours uh, they do not uh, eating just uh, worried uh, uh, especially for about the, about the, the infected the COVID uh, nineteen during the the traveling. So make this patient lose the protein level, everything level, and some calorie intake during two days is quite low. So it may the condition is not so good. They do not, and for the severe and the critical pneumonia in Shanghai. About the we found the COVID, this uh, is important. During the, yeah. the of course, the first so is the circulation function man maintenance. Level. And, and level also, we found level. the finally and intestinal inflammation. We can use the inter inflammation. Yeah. So and also, I just mentioned the intercoagulants is important. In Wuhan city, some doctors report. 
the patient uh, uh, some uh, uh, severe condition just because uh, do not uh, use anticoagulant uh, earlier. And also, we found that the family and also the intestine function uh, is important. Uh, we still in, in some cases uh, we use the Chinese herbs. Yeah, Da Qing Da uh, uh, for these patients to use and uh, found some condition improved relative uh, condition and the nutrition uh, support and of course for earlier some cases with the that token storm. Uh, I I. Uh, Later, Dr. Xie Nixing will be uh, describe uh, uh, this uh, uh, condition. And also we use uh, the, some muscle relaxation and artificial, yeah, some like that. And uh, only a small percentage we use ECMO. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the uh, subtle storm. And uh, in Shanghai, Maybe nine or ten cases use the ECMO. Uh, finally, uh, some uh, recover already, and uh, nowadays uh, uh, only two cases still use ECMO. Most of them is list your ECMO already, and uh, of course uh, three cases I felt, but. Uh, not successful use the uh, ECMO. Uh, in, we, uh, of course, this picture is uh, actually is not uh, uh, from the Shanghai uh, Public Health Medical Center. I, I just downloaded from the website, the, this picture is, so it's not brought to the Shanghai. Yeah, we use the ventilator and CRT and ECMO and uh, Around the five or six cases, we use the covalence uh, uh, plasma. Uh, it maybe help us uh, to uh, antiviral, but uh, it's not uh, last uh, long. And also for some cases, uh, we use the NGS for the uh, accurate, accuracy etiological diagnosis for the accompanied accompanied by the infection uh, as a uh, pathogens. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, multiple drug resistance organisms, um, some, some, uh, such as the acinetum bromeni and uh, uh, carpenter resistant uh, Klebsiella pneumonia, uh, during the uh, sh uh, time, a uh, short period of time, we found a, a small outbreak. We uh, finally we have to use this phage, and the successful uh, overcome this the uh, outbreak of the multiple drug resistant organisms. And this data show us in the first period from January twenty first to the February fifth. The critical and the severe cases is uh, relatively uh, more. And after that time, yeah, since the February 6, the critical and the severe cases uh, decreased dramatically. But, and also during the past months, some immigration yeah, and uh, export from the other countries is around, uh, uh, according to today's data, <laughs> around uh, two, uh, 200 cases. And I'm glad to say, uh, among these uh, uh, cases, uh, uh, we use the uh, Shanghai plan of uh, the, the new, new plan for the CLP. And uh, all of cases, only five transferred to the civil condition and only one critical uh, uh, ill cases happened. So that means that Shanghai's uh, plan or the Shanghai um, therapy uh, plan is uh, relatively useful and uh, thus we can successful 
uh, to treating this uh, the late patient. Uh, this is a machine that is the discharge the criteria. The first force is the Chinese government uh, ask us we should like this. And the following is the, the sixth and the fifth, fifth and the sixth is in Shanghai. We additional uh, put the two criteria just because we worried about if the patient still have the positive nuclear acid in stool, we maybe have the, some uh, infectious. So we put make the patient uh, after the negative of nuclear acid uh, amount of stool and then discharged. Finally, I want to machine the PPEs and the screen cases and the fever clinics in Shanghai and Ohu China, and also the asymptomatic infection and also see these issues. Uh, of course, we understand now uh, that COVID-19 is uh, so contagious. The basic uh, productive number is quite uh, high, so we should pay attention to. Uh, this is uh, the, in, in China. The the February, uh, February 2nd to the February 16th, uh, among two weeks, we first uh, uh, high the, uh, and then the two weeks later is like the, the another the, the, the peak, yeah. And uh, the, this is uh, the show in entirely the after the March 1st, they lead uh, the, 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 the big, uh, uh, more than the Chang, Chang, uh, China. And also in the United States, they still uh, increased dramatically. We cannot identify which will be the transfer to all the, the to transfer to the plate. Uh, uh, if we discuss about uh, what the factors affect the Chinese uh, epidemic uh, control relatively quickly, now this is the, uh, I think uh, the maybe useful uh, measures. It, among the community, we reduce the, uh, reduce the mobility uh, as the patient uh, uh, as the whole population stay home or the limited uh, social event uh, and the gathering and uh, ask the older population uh, use the mask. And uh, of course, uh, uh, we currently we ask uh, as the, we should uh, change the behavior such as the co coffee equity and the social distance. And of course, uh, for the some the office uh, we use uh, is just the room ventilation and the uh, environment disinfection. Now, among the health care facility, we also suggest the, the fever clinics. This fever clinics is uh, established uh, during, uh, in the 70 years ago, during the epidemic of the SARS. Uh, and the lab uh, cases screen and the uh, pathogen dis, uh, detection. And also the PPE, the healthcare uh, work usage, uh, unlike the uh, just like the other countries nowadays, uh, two or three months ago, in China also lack of the PPE. So how to uh, popular uh, proper usage of PPE? Uh, we during that time we we do a lot of education. And also ask the patient if you enter the hospital, not only the COVID-19, but also the other patients, when you enter the hospital, you have to uh, wear the mask. Of course, uh, in some Western country, in United States and some uh, European country, they still not uh, use the mask uh, uh, popular. And of, compared to this country in Shanghai, we strength uh, make the, the 
observation or the quarantine is uh, still the uh, strict. And so even during the past month, uh, more than 200 uh, uh, cases uh, uh, imported from the other country, but uh, in Shanghai, we do not uh, find any uh, outbreak happened uh, in the community or the, in the hospitals. So when we learned the medical staff infected uh, in entirely, yeah, we, we feel very, very sorry. Maybe these doctors, uh, the medical uh, healthcare workers uh, do not have sufficient uh, PPE. So that's important. Of course, except uh, this PPE, we should the how to identify the infection cases, early identify, that's important. That means we should use the early detection method uh, for the uh, diagnosis, just like the nuclear acid uh, PCR. Now this is show as the uh, fever clinic uh, in Shanghai. We still established and improved. And also the COVID-19 uh, prevention and uh, control guideline in, in Shanghai, we followed uh, the government uh, uh, requirements so that in hospitals still very strict and uh, curb the, or the, uh, stop the death, uh, epidemic or the outbreak happens. And this seven days ago, yeah, we found the uh, evidence that this virus can live in the air more than eight, as long as eight hours. So make scientific uh, scientists and the medical doctors uh, learned, which is say we should change the, our prevention strategy, not only for the general the context at the we also should to uh, prevent of the illusion. Uh, that means important or not. So this is uh, maybe need some the further evidence coming right. Uh, till now, we still use the general one. And uh, also we found that if the medical uh, uh, medical health care workers after the exposure, uh, when, such as when we close contact the patient without a mask, later we found that this actually is the confirmed cases. We have to, it, do we can some intervention? Uh, we imagine uh, we, maybe we can take the oral antiviral uh, antigen, but uh, this is, uh, need the evidence. Uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the, what is the, the terminate of the, the COVID-19? I think maybe the uh, vaccine will be the terminated, but uh, this will be success uh, at least uh, one to two years. So how can you do nowadays? I think uh, still have to do the best uh, or the more work on the infection control prevention. Yeah, mask, uh, social distance uh, and hygiene and uh, reduce gasoline. So this uh, have to change our behavior. Uh, our, uh, otherwise the, this uh, epidemic cannot uh, uh, stop uh, uh, as quickly as we hope. Uh, that's, this is uh, my, my uh, lecture. Uh, since my English is not so good, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Hu, for a uh, fantastic presentation. Um, we are going to take questions at the very end, and I see there's already 28 uh, questions that have been asked, and we'll do our best to address those. The next speaker is Dr. C.R. Lee, Lee Sin, who is a professor and senior consultant at the head and head of the Department of Respiratory and Clinical Medicine at the People's Liberation Army General Hospital in Beijing. He's head of the clinical care group of the 
respiratory disease branch of the Chinese Medical Association, and he also serves as the Secretary General of the Chinese Infectious Diseases Committee and Deputy Chairman of the Emergency and Disaster Committee of the Chinese Medical Association. Dr. Xie is a has long been engaged in the basic and clinical research in respiratory clinical illness, sepsis, multi-organ failure, and respiratory rehabilitation and has carried out innovative research in mechanical ventilation, biomarkers for sepsis, and prognosis evalu evaluation. He is going to speak to us now about host immune response in COVID-19 pneumonia and their clinical implications. Thank you very much. You may turn your microphone on. Yeah, are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. That's good. Uh, dear, uh, dear Dr. Rose. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Dr. Shi Jing from the Department of Primary and the Critical Care Medicine of, Chi of Chinese PR General Hospital. Uh, and now, I, I, my presentation is the COVID-19 associated severe pneumonia and the healthy immune response. Uh, and not, uh, first, I introduce the, uh, our case. Uh, the, the, the patient uh, was 57 years old uh, with severe pneumonia and ARDS. Uh, although also receiving many uh, treatment, such uh, 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 so including drugs and uh, convalescent plasma. As a general condition getting worse, she received a uh, invasive mechanical ventilation, ventilation for 20 as uh, for 32 days and the VV ECMO for 26 days. Other uh, the patient the lymphocyte uh, continuous maintained very low level uh, below 100 qubit uh, millimeter. Uh, and uh, there's, there's the lowest uh, tidal volu volume below 30 millimeter. That we, we means that stone lung. So after the 58 days of onset, he died. So, uh, so uh, we 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 think so about the, the reason why or which reason caused uh, the patient deaths. Uh, this preprint uh, paper uh, from China uh, shows that uh, lymphocytes, uh, CD3, CD4, CD8 T cells uh, uh, in the critical groups were significantly and consistently lower compared to mild or moderate patients. And uh, uh, some blood cytokines such as interleukin-6, interleukin-10, interleukin-4, and the TNF-alpha were significantly higher compared to mild groups. So the authors concluded that in critical patients, Peripheral lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes decreased significantly, and also cytokines increased, uh, may be cons uh, uh, considered to immune and imbalance for critical severe patients. Uh, this is the first pathology report, report uh, of COVID 19 in the world from our hospital. It is shown that. Uh, interstitial mononuclear inflammatory infiltrates dominated by lymphocytes was seen in both of the lung, the patient lung. And in the peripheral lymphocytes, CD4 and CD8 T cell was substantially reduced, while their status was hyperreactivity uh, combined with severe lung injury. So, my question is, for COVID-19 patient, why 80% patient were a systematic or mild? Why about 20% of patient grad, uh, gradually getting worse? And uh, about three to 5% of the patient die? The reason is worse. We, we would think about it. So firstly, we showed uh, re, re, reveal uh, the the basic basic 
concept of our body barrier against a uh, virus. The first uh, barrier is anatomical and physiological barriers, which include, include intact skin, a ciliary clearance of lower respiratory tract, low stomach pH, and the lysozyme in tears and the saliva. The second barrier is innate immunity, which includes some cell cells, uh, such as macrophage, master cells, and natural killer cells, neutrophils, and so on. The third barrier of our body against the virus was adaptive immunity, which from T cells and the B cells, they are very important to produce specific immunoglobin against the virus. So uh, if the virus, the COVID, uh, COVID virus in, invade our, our lung to area, which we will produce a, a sudden king storm, just, just said as a doctor who. who. Uh, some some sudden king, such as interleukin 6, TNF alpha, and interleukin 10 increase very, very, very quickly. Uh, this article published in 2007 to retrospective analyze uh, uh, pneumonia and sepsis about the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the effect of Sutkin's response. They found, it, they found that high level of the interleukin-6 and the interleukin-10 uh, predict adverse outcome. The hazard ratio was 20.52. The result shows that dynamic change of interleukin-6 and the interleukin-10 to be an important indicator for overreactive and impaired immunity. This is our research. We found that low concentrations of interleukin-6 can promote the impression of MHRDR, but when the concentrations of interleukin-6 continuously uh, elevate, it can inhibit the expression of MHRDR. MHRDR. Similarly, for interleukin-10, uh, interleukin-10 can reduce MHDR expression. The effects is more prominent with prolonged action. Based on our uh, experimental research, we concluded that ele uh, uh, elevated interleukin-6 and interleukin-10 can inhibit MHDR expression, will cause, uh, would cause uh, uh, antigen uh, presentation uh, 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 decreasing. So uh, the, the flowing, I want to dis uh, discuss some, some uh, immunomodulating drugs or methods. The first is a local corticoid. Just a professor who discussed the effects of corticoid is very complicated. Uh, 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 this paper published in lesson the author, the authors uh, did not support corticosteroid treatment for uh, COVID-19 induced lung injury based on the MERS, SARS, uh, influence and ICE clinical study. But firstly, we, I think we, uh, we retrospective and uh, read some uh, articles. This article uh, published uh, in 2006 uh, to evaluate the effect of uh, corticosteroid on critical SARS cases from Guangzhou, China. Uh, the, the, uh, the results showed uh, 150 milligrams per day for five days may be valuable for critical SARS patient and reduce mortality and uh, did not uh, add, add adverse outcome for these patients. This is another article published in Critical Care Medicine in 2006, also from China. Uh, this paper evaluated a high dose of methyl prednisolone uh, on the effect of uh, H7 non uh, N9 viral pneumonia, uh, pneumonia uh, patients. 
they found that high dose corticosteroid compared to control group uh, would uh, increase three, 30 day mortality and 60 mortality with uh, longer viral shedding for uh, corticosteroid uh, patients. So the author concluded that high dose corticosteroids were associated with increased mortality and associated with longer viral shedding in patients with influenza A viral pneumonia. Uh, for the uh, COVID-19 uh, onset in China, there are also many patients received uh, corticosteroid therapy. This small sample uh, 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 article uh, con uh, concluded, concluded low dose or short term application of corticosteroid treatment in patients with severe COVID 19 pneumonia. Uh, it, it is a sh single century experience study. They found that uh, low Low dose uh, uh, corticosteroid is methyl uh, prednisolone one to two milligram per kilogram per day for five to seven days based on the China guideline. Uh, can decrease the body temperature and improve oxygenation. Uh, based on our, uh, our study, we found that uh, uh, the, the patient who received methyl prednisolone treatment will uh, the increased uh, risk of decompensated metabolic alkalosis, but have no, uh, that, but, but, but did, did not increase the uh, adverse outcome for these patients. Uh, maybe this is a, a first uh, re, uh, multi central study uh, to, to support uh, corticosteroid therapy for ARDS patients published. Uh, in 2020 in less than respiratory medicine, medicine uh, for uh, the, this, uh, uh, for the inclusive patient, most of patient suffering from severe pneumonia and the PF ratio uh, were, were uh, 140 uh, milligram per more, more uh, this, this, this uh, article concluded that Early ap application of dexamethasone in patients with moderate or severe ARDS can reduce invasive mechanical ventilation time and uh, 60 day of cost mortality. And this result supported uh, uh, corticosteroid for severe pneumonia and ARDS patients. So, how, uh, how to use uh, corticos cortic corticoid? Uh, uh, to our no, uh, experience, we found that early stage high inflammatory, inflammatory response, uh, uh, such as high level interleukin 6, TNF alpha, and high level interleukin 10, uh, and the significant disease project, uh, pro progression with MODS and uh, septic shock, normal antigen presentation ability. Uh, no significant immune impairment and uh, normal or slightly lower lymphocyte counts may be suitable for use uh, low dose uh, corticosteroid th therapy. But uh, up, to, up to now, there, there is no clear evidence of application targets for local corticoid. The second, we, I want to discuss uh, uh, conversant. Uh, the plasma and the hyperimmune IVIG. This paper published in CHEST in 2013 uh, uh, concluded, concluded uh, use high immune uh, IVIG uh, uh, to treat severe uh, H1N1 influenza infection. They found that after receiving high immune IVIG, the patient, uh, the viral load decreased very quickly and the uh, 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 cytokines decreased immediately. Uh, so, uh, they concluded that treatment of severe in, uh, H1N1 infection with high immune VIG uh, within five days of system onset 
was associated with a lower viral load and reduced mortality. Uh, this uh, meta-analysis uh, uh, paper, they concluded that uh, for severe, uh, for severe uh, acute respiratory infection uh, of viral etiology, uh, using conversant plasma uh, or conversant serum can reduce mortality. So they con concluded that con conversant plasma may reduce mortality and they appear safe. This, uh, uh, this paper uh, published in, in, two, uh, in, in recently, uh, a small sample of using a uh, conversant plasma therapy in severe COVID-19 patient. They found that uh, uh, after re receiving uh, one dose of uh, 200 milliliter of high antibody titers of conversant plasma, the CRP uh, level reduced from 50 to 18. The lymphocyte uh, count they increased from 0 0.65 to 0 0.76. And the oxygenation, SO2, increased from uh, 93 to 96. So they concluded that CP therapy was very tolerated and could, could potentially improve the clinic outcomes through neutralizing Vermia in severe COVID-19 cases. Uh, just now, uh, Professor Chu uh, 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 described the effect of cymosin alpha-1. Cymosin alpha-1, the, the first multicenter study was initiated from China. Uh, the, the, the paper published in CritCare in 2003. Uh, uh, for the uh, enrolled patient who received uh, a zero uh, cymosine alpha-1 uh, twice per day for five days, compared to control groups for, for the experimental groups with lower M, uh, MLA, LR, HLA, DR, who received a sample from alpha-1 treat, uh, treatment, uh, the mortality rate decreased. So, the, the author concluded that uh, uh, cymosome alpha one may be effective in improving clinical outcomes in the targeted population of severe sepsis. Uh, uh, although in, uh, during the onset the past two months of COVID-19 uh, patient treatment, uh, cymosome alpha one uh, uh, therapy uh, used in, med in, in some severe uh, pa patient, but the, the conclusion not uh, uh, published uh, up to now. So we, we are looking for the, uh, uh, the latest uh, uh, research article uh, to evaluate the effect of Simonson alpha one on uh, COVID-19 patients. Uh, so the next we discuss the effects of Missing chemo stem cells on COVID-19. Uh, this paper published in engineering uh, to evaluate the effects of uh, MSCS on H7 and 9 infection. They found that uh, uh, the the, experiment, uh, the mortality of experimental group, uh, the mortality rate was. 17.6% uh, and the control group, the mortality rate was 54.5%. Uh, so in co conclusion, the MSCS treatment can improve survival rate. No ob obvious toxic and side effects were found in some patients during five year flowing up. So this study, uh, maybe the uh, one of the uh, 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 latest uh, uh, MSC is a research study on COVID-19 pneumonia up to now, uh, uh, published in aging disease, only seven uh, cases. One, case, one uh, is critical 
critically severe type, uh, four were severe type and uh, two were common type. Uh, common type means uh, all the ordinary type uh, to have no hypoxemia. Uh, during this uh, retrospective study, they found that uh, especially, especially for critical severe patient, after receiving uh, MSC uh, treatment, uh, one day later, the temperature uh, decreased from 38.8 to 36.8, and the general uh, systems such as shortness of, shortness of breath, cough, and sputum improved, and the oxygen therapy decreased. And uh, for the further study, they found, uh, uh, they found that uh, MSC therapy can uh, modulate the immune imbalance to uh, decrease uh, the level of TNF alpha and increase the level of I, uh, interleukin 10 and regulate T, T, T lymphocytes and the dendritic cells uh, in, uh, in, uh, and uh, so to increase significantly after MSC as treatment. So the author uh, uh, concluded that MSC treatment can improve primary uh, 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 injury and uh, remote of immune cell subsets and function and uh, improve the microenvironment of the organization to improve uh, to promote endogenous repair uh, and inhibit T and B uh, lymphocyte proliferation and uh, regulates inflammatory cytokines. Uh, during the uh, clinical experience of anti-COVID-19 uh, uh, patient, for, especially for severe patient, the very important risk factor is uh, absolute lymphocyte decreased. Uh, some critical patient, uh, the lymphocyte count below 100 uh, per cubic, cubic millimeter. So how to increase the level of lymphocyte is very important for the, for predicting the patient prognosis. Interleukin-7 may be a potential uh, valuable uh, method for, for increase the lymphocyte counts. Uh, as it is to know, interleukin-7 can active, active uh, uh, T cell pro production uh, pro pro promote native cell uh, and uh, improve the antigen presentation and improve trafficking to infect site. Uh, this uh, uh, clinical study registered in clinical trial uh, to evaluate interleukin seven uh, on on septic shock. Uh, the in, in, include, inclusive criteria is below or equal to. Uh, 900 cells per a cubic uh, millimeter. They found uh, the, mass, the, uh, the protocol of the study was uh, the first week uh, of the inclusive patient received in the looking seven, 10 uh, microgram per, per kilometer uh, twice a week. The second to first week, low frequency group received once a week and high frequency group uh, received twice a week. Uh, for the both of the uh, gr two groups, the absolutely lymphocyte counts CD4 T cells and CD8 T cells increased immediately, uh, obviously, compared to control group. So uh, uh, it, it revealed a positive result to increase uh, uh, lymphocyte. The, the, con uh, the conclusion is. Uh, I interleukin seven reversed the marked loss of CD4 and CD8 immune infector cells, and uh, uh, by restoring adaptive immunity. So re, uh, Richard, uh, we reviewed this, uh, many uh, many uh, articles and uh, and uh, our uh, clinical experience. How to uh, to 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 confirm uh, to make the, this COVID-19 patient uh, to be better. Uh, 
we think that uh, uh, immune balancing, immune balance is very important. If the patient is suffering from excessive inflammation or impaired immunity, uh, immune modulating therapy uh, it is one of the key points to, to re relieve for, for, for survival. How to directly monitoring the immune imbalance and uh, to guide the treatment? Uh, there are certain rules to dynamically monitor the change of immune imbalance uh, based on its clinical experience. Dynamic changes of interleukin-6, TNF-R, uh, and uh, interleukin-10 can reflect host immune ch changes. MHRDR can reflect the ability of host immune transmission to target immune. Absolute value of T and B lymphocyte, especially the change of function of T lymphocyte subsets can reflect targeted immunity. So I think uh, not only COVID-19, uh, 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 other infectious disease such as uh, bacteria, fungus, SARS, and other influenza and other infectious disease, uh, immune balance and tighter therapy may be the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I want just to... I'd um, like to intro introduce now um, Dr. Tanchi Keat, who's a senior consultant and head of the department of intensive care medicine at Enting Fong Hospital in Singapore. She's a dual accredited uh, anesthesiologist in, in intensive care medicine. She underwent her training in the Alfred Hospital in Australia and the King's College in London and has an interest in perioperative medicine and high-risk surgical patients. Dr. Chi Keat is joining us because of her skills and understanding of this problem, but also because her language skills are significantly better than mine. Uh, so we hope to do, address some, some questions uh, that have been raised. In the interest of time, and we seem to have a huge, and we've got 50 questions at the moment, what I'm going to do is ask the questions that have been compiled in an order. Um, we're going to deal with um, testing and uh, identification, including some of the novel tests that have been suggested. Um, then we're going to ask you about specific treatments, and then we're going to talk about some convalescent questions at the end. So to start, um, which tests would you advise us to use, Dr. Who? Which tests would you advise us to do? Just like D, 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 yeah, <laughs> how to say? Uh, D. So which, which of the diagnostic tests have been found to be the most useful in your series? Yeah, we, we've tested the uh, co uh, coagulation um, tests for the every patient. Uh, usually the every two to three days. And uh, for the severe condition, we make this test uh, frequently. If the okay. tumor is uh, high and uh, we use the, uh, the heparin and uh, uh, vit high dose vitamin C. All right. How, how do we use interleukin-6 and uh, procalcitonin and other tests? How were they, did they tie into diagnosis? Yeah, I also Dr. Also, Sia, did... uh, yeah. yeah, thank you for your question. The interleukin-6, it is known that interleukin-6 is a, a pro-inflammatory pro cytokines to predict the severity of illness, not, not only for COVID-19, but also for other sepsis such as uh, 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 bacterial infection, fungal infection, and uh, influenza. Uh, uh, to our experience, uh, experience if the, uh, for the early onset or, or quick onset for COVID-19 patients, if the level 
of uh, interleukin C increase very quickly uh, uh, for five to 10 uh, times uh, 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 compared to the uh, last exam, uh, last result. Maybe uh, predict the patient uh, uh, have the a cytokine storm uh, uh, immune mon mon monitoring uh, treatment uh, is suitable for this patient. Thank you. Okay, uh, you talked about the use of antivirals and there have been a number mentioned. Which antiviral would you choose if you were going to use one or would you advise not to use them? And when would you use them? So three questions, which one? Um, how convinced are you that they work? And at what time would you start them? Yeah, in, in Shanghai, we, for the almost uh, every cases, we use uh, antiviral uh, therapy. And uh, in each, just, uh, just uh, I mentioned uh, previously, initially we uh, choose several types uh, kinds of drug, such as we even use the Abidor and uh, Lipnave and Litnave. But nowadays we just focus on the hydroxychloroquine. So uh, you're using hydroxychloroquine? You're using uh, hydroxychloroquine as yeah, a yeah, routine? Yeah, we usually. Now and what sort of dose? Yeah, uh, oh. so we. Uh, <laughs> Usually it's the 400 uh, milligram per yeah, day, yeah, yeah, and uh, the duration will be, uh, initially we only used uh, five to seven days, but later we found uh, that such a short uh, period uh, will make the patient uh, negative to positive converged for the nuclear acid. So nowadays we use the longer. Uh, if the uh, heart is not, is uh, not uh, uh, advised, uh, uh, indicates uh, usually use the four week, uh, two weeks. Okay, and are you starting that early with mild cases or waiting till they're severe? Uh, pardon? Uh, the, the timing, do you start it as soon as they are diagnosed or do you wait till they have symptoms for the hydroxychloroquine? I'm on it. I'm okay. sorry. Pardon, the, 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 the voice uh, interrupt, not continue. Please pardon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. We do you, the hydroxychloroquine, yeah. do you use it from the start when st once they're diagnosed or do you wait until they have symptoms? The oh, treatment for hydroxychloroquine. Every patient, uh, just uh, the nuclear acid uh, confirmed, uh, we start uh, the antiviral drug, not uh, wait to the symptoms happen. You means you means hydrocortisone. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you've mentioned also zinc and vitamin C. So how convinced are you they work and, and what do you advise? How about the uh, usage of vitamin C in uh, Beijing, <laughs> Dr. Xie? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, vitamin C uh, uh, in, uh, in Beijing, uh, uh, our hospital, uh, some patients receive the high dose of uh, uh, vitamin C treatment uh, about uh, 2,000 milligrams per day. But uh, we we found no positive result uh, <laughs> for this patient. Uh, we, to our knowledge, the, uh, also in Wuhan and other cities, uh, made some uh, some clinical study to uh, to evaluate the effect of high dose of uh, vitamin C. Up to now, we 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 have got we haven't gotten uh, a positive result for yeah. this <laughs> vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah, Thank but you. in Shanghai, actually, we still. Uh, do some the research results. Uh, previously, uh, for the the mild cases, we do not use the high dose vitamin C. But uh, the, for the uh, the ordinary pneumonia or the transfer 
to the severe uh, condition, we use the high dosage of vitamin C and uh, usually the five to 10 gram per day. And at least we do, we do not find any uh, severe side uh, uh, effects happened uh, after we use the vitamin C. Okay. Um, which anticoagulant are you using and when are you anticoagulating patients? There's been some talk from the European experience that they're concerned that there's a severe thrombotic picture and that there may be bleeding. So when do you anticoagulate and what do you use? Chiki, do you want to translate perhaps? Yes, I, I think that he got, got it. Is when do you start heparin or claxin and what do you use and when you start to use? And decoagulation. And decoagulation. Yeah. Yes, and the conclusion. And the conclusion to our experience, uh, if the patient uh, stay in bed for over uh, 48 days and the dimer level about uh, about normal value, and the conclusion should be recommended to use. Yeah. It's common in, in severe and critical, critically severe patients. Do you use a full dose of anticoagulations or, uh, or, or, or not full dose? Uh, 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 half, half of the dose may uh, most, most, most common use. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we found that some uh, for COVID 19 patients, especially for critically severe patients, uh, uh, lung hemorrhage is, is commonly found for some patients. So anticoagulation may be uh, critically more. Uh, uh, think about it, yeah. The, uh, the role of the BCG vaccination, the anti-tuberculosis vaccination, the BCG, has BCG. you any experience with its use and experience um, how patients react? There have been some reports on people that have been exposed to BCG being more protected. Is that correct or...? We, in China, we do not use the BCG. Okay. Yes. All right. You've talked about serum, convalescent serum, and what are your indications for its use? When do you use it, and who do you use it on? So, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, we, in Shanghai, we use. Uh, uh, in my memory, is around the, the five cases, the uh, the uh, plasma, uh, but uh, s some of them have the recovered uh, uh, the nuclear acid transfer from the positive to negative, but uh, usually it's not last uh, longer. S some cases is uh, returned to the positive. Uh, only several days later. Maybe the t title is relatively low. We found th this maybe is a lesion. We do not find the high the title of antibody. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, to our, uh, our experience, uh, the inclusion of conversant uh, plasma uh, uh, therapy is uh, 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 the first is the, the uh, after 15 days, uh, uh, the viral, uh, viral, virus uh, uh, cannot uh, did not transfer to negative. The second uh, point is uh, rapid onset to critical a uh, 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 Europe, uh, 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 stage, especially for uh, severe hubs, hub ARDS or uh, uh, combined with MLDS. And the third is uh, 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 especially for uh, uh, elderly patient. Although the, the general condition is not severe, uh, just only uh, slightly hypoxemia, uh, uh, con conversant uh, plasma therapy is recommended. Thank you. You know, I mentioned uh, all of the uh, five or six patients in Shanghai, we. Uh, we use the convalescent uh, the plasma is are the severe or the critical pneumonia patients, and for the general ordinary 
type of pneumonia, we do not use uh, such, such a plasma. Okay. You, you've mentioned the role of uh, hydroxychloroquine and reducing uh, and of steroids, prolonging the time to clearance. There have been some reports from Korea of a reinfection. What are, what are your thoughts about the rate at which this virus clears and the risk of patients becoming reinfected uh, in the short term? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it seems to be a problem in, in certainly some places where patients became asymptomatic, appeared to clear, and then appear to be reinfected again at some point in the future. And I wonder what your experience with that was. I think we should make the balance on the, the, got the, the benefit and the, the loss. Uh, because uh, initially, uh, in Shanghai uh, expertising uh, team, I strongly uh, uh, do not use the, the steroids. But the several other experts suggest to use the steroids. But later we can uh, uh, make the common sense is uh, the just a low dosage and quite a short uh, uh, duration. Maybe have the benefit and the can decrease the the loss. Uh, yeah. So so. Currently, we very small percentage is used. Just the antiviral uh, therapy is not uh, successful to stop uh, the patient uh, uh, develop to severe or critical condition. And we try to use steroids uh, 20 or 40, or even the high is 80 uh, milligram per day in last three days and uh, change the the patient's feeling, and uh, especially the high fever, because uh, we for such a patient, uh, the usually last the high temperature uh, higher than the, uh, 39 degrees, and make the patients uh, uh, unwilling to eating or the some base the feeling or condition, and after take uh, give the steroids. Uh, in, uh, make the patient uh, a great uh, feeling, yeah, and uh, take, so so, and also may, maybe the uh, stop some the worsen of the inflammation of the lung. So uh, we just a small percentage of the patient to use the steroids. Okay. So. There's some questions here about the use of statins and other molecules. You've, you've talked about zinc. Um, statins and the role of ACE inhibitors in causing or promoting infection, um, infection and cross-infection. Have you got any thoughts about that? The, the ACE inhibitors and their role in this? You talked a little bit about the ACE inhibitor um, binding is there the role of the ACE inhibitor in the spread of the disease and the use of, of, of captoprol and other ACE inhibitors um, and their role in this disease and the spread? Chiki, do Yeah. Uh, the ACE inhibitors treat uh, hypertension. Hypertension, oh. Yeah. Yes, the AIDS inhibitor, captopril, that we, is there any role? And, and it's, you, you talked about its role, the ACE oh, oh, oh. receptor being important in COVID's binding. Um, do you have any thoughts about the use of ACE inhibitors and whether patients should stop them or continue to use them? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I think that the uh, doctor, uh, Rose, you, you said there are, uh, 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 hypertension treatment that uh, such as AC2 inhibition uh, uh, drug may be useful for for, for a COVID-19 patients. Yeah, uh, it is known that the hypertension is a, a 
risk factor for COVID-19 patient uh, uh, for uh, so their, their uh, adverse outcome. Uh, 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 based on the, the uh, China large, uh, many clinical uh, 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 clinical study, they, they found uh, published in less than the New England Medical Journal, uh, they conclude that uh, hypertension, uh, uh, so dead patient uh, mostly suffering from hypertension disease. And uh, maybe some, 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 some experts think that uh, uh, such as ACE2 inhibitor may be useful for uh, for treat for, for treat uh, uh, COVID-19 patient uh, patient, but uh, to our knowledge, we we didn't find the effect of use use uh, an, an, an anti ACE2 uh, uh, drugs to to treat hypertension or you or useful or or showed uh, uh, positive result. To re release system or uh, uh, for for this patient, uh, there are not uh, positive results in China. To our knowledge, thank you. Okay, if we could just go to to other treatments, the respiratory support. Um, when did you intubate? What was your indication of intubation? You you both had uh, some information about the progression from oxygen to high flow nasal cannula, to non-invasive uh, support and intubation. What was yeah. your indication for intubation? What was, and what was the most common thing that, that occurred that caused you to want to intubate them? Uh, thank you, Dr. Ross. Uh, 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 during the past uh, three months of uh, treatment, uh, respiratory treatment, there are very conflict, uh, conflicts for severe a couple of senior, uh, 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 patient, especially for the in, in indication of uh, uh, non-invasive ventilation and invasive ventilation and ECMO. Uh, to uh, to the uh, based on the Chinese guideline uh, initiated by our 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 society, the uh, Chinese Respiratory uh, Society, uh, uh, the inclusion of oxygen therapy uh, is a use of patient below the uh, below. Uh, uh, PAF or uh, below uh, uh, P, uh, P, 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 PF ratio below uh, 300 or uh, 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 saturation uh, uh, SATO2 or SPO2 below uh, 93% oxygen therapy is suitable. If the PF ratio below uh, uh, 250 milligram per mercury, uh, high, high flow, uh, high flow nasal cannula or non inventory is recommended. If the patient, uh, if the PF ratio below 200, uh, uh, we strong, uh, strongly recommend non-invasive ventilation. If the PF ratio below uh, 150 milligram, uh, millimeter, uh, millimeter, uh, millimeter, uh, centimeter, centimeter, uh, millimeter of mercury, uh, uh, Cause um, uh, closely monitoring uh, is very important. Uh, after uh, receiving two hours uh, of non-invasive ventilation, the PF ratio uh, does not uh, improve. Uh, uh, maybe invasive ventilation is recommended. If the uh, PF ratio below 100, uh, the 120 millimeter of mercury uh, invasive ventilation is recommended. Uh, 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 based on the uh, 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 China guideline and the, uh, and the other cities such as Beijing and the Shanghai city guideline, uh, if the PF ratio below 80 uh, minutes of mercury uh, over, uh, over, one, over two hours, uh, ECMO uh, treatment is recommended. Uh, but uh, uh, there are some uh, con con conflict, con conflict uh, about the in in invasive ventilation. Uh, 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 some experts uh, said if the PF ratio below 200, uh, invasive ventilation uh, uh, is 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 should be should be considered. But uh, I don't agree with it. With our uh, clinical resident, we receive uh, we treat more than. 30, more than 30 invasive ventilation uh, COVID-19 patient. Uh, uh, 
I think uh, 150 millimeter of mercury is the key point for, for non-invasive and invasive uh, transfer, transferring. Thank you. Okay, so the, there's some reports come out of the United Kingdom, particularly about the problems of getting patients off the ventilator, of the weaning and particularly extubation. What's your experience with extubation and weaning processes? Uh, I think a weaning protocol uh, the criteria is similar as other ARDS patients. If the patient uh, uh, had done not suffering cardiac and uh, chronic, uh, kind of lung di uh, chronic disease, uh, 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 the, the uh, weaning, pro uh, pre weaning uh, criteria is, uh, I think this, uh, uh, the first is the general condition uh, uh, be, uh, 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 be, be stable, uh, uh, such as the, the temperature is, is, is normal for over three years, and uh, uh, lung infiltration uh, 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 obviously uh, absorbed, and, uh, uh, and uh, the blood pressure and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the oxy, organ function uh, uh, are, are normal. Uh, and uh, so, uh, and uh, the patient, uh, the ventilator support mode, such as uh, FiO2 below 40 percent, and uh, uh, the, pay, the, the, uh, the driving pressure below uh, 15 centimeter uh, of, of above water, and people uh, below uh, uh, eight centimeter above water. Uh, so uh, the patient met the uh, ST, SBT protocol. If the if the SBT protocol are, are successful, I think the weaning protocol is performed for this patient. But for some patients who are suffering from a chronic uh, uh, heart and lung disease, uh, uh, invasive transfer to non-invasive or invasive transfer to high, a high flow uh, nasal cannula uh, therapy is preferred. Thank you. Okay. Just to go back on to um, diagnosis and treatment, if the PCR is negative or your diagnostic tests are negative, but the CT suggests the same, that the finding is consistent with COVID. What would you do? Um, what would you do as far as treatments concerned and of therapy? Would you apply the same criteria for intubation? Would you give them hydroxychloroquine and antivirals? Yeah. Uh, in my experience, uh, we sometimes we found uh, such a situation especially the early stage of the endemic of COVID-19. COVID and uh, uh, if we meet the CT chest, uh, a chest CT should the typical the uh, uh, lesion uh, and uh, the, even the nuclear acid is negative, we still treat the patient like the COVID-19, at least the, such a patient should isolate the first, otherwise make the outbreak. Yeah, and then uh, we you you uh, repeat the uh, nuclear acid test, and uh, sometimes uh, we found if we use the several uh, second time or third time, maybe make the positive. Of course, we still also found if the swab use the oropharyngeal or the nasopharyngeal, actually the swab, the, the positive rate is uh, not the same. The nasopharyngeal swab, uh, the positive rate much higher than the oropharyngeal swab. And uh, some hospital, they should, the, they use the bronchoscopy to take the uh, lavage. And uh, of course, uh, in that situation, the positive rate will be high. But uh, we, in Shanghai, we, for such cases, uh, you usually just worried about the infection control because uh, we should use the negative operating room, uh, negative pressure uh, operating room. Uh, otherwise, the, for the medical health care, uh, Medical workers, med doctors, uh, is not uh, in safety. I think. There have okay. been. Yeah, 
sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are a number of questions that have come up about the use of PPE, personal protection equipment. The concern in some areas where there is limited PPE and what are your recommendations and what would you do if there is only low level surgical masks um, and what level of do should we be using to uh, protect our staff? I think uh, this uh, depends on the, the risk level, the first and the second is the resources you can get. And the third is the situation you expose the uh, even the for the whole community, the low risk, but the special department, such as for the bronchoscopy situation or the incubation for the patient is still have a relative high. So uh, for the general medical uh, staff, maybe surgical uh, mask is enough. But uh, if you have got the, uh, the relative, the rich the resources you can get, I think in uh, uh, 95, uh, the uh, ventilator uh, will be better, especially for the isolated uh, ward or the clinical uh, cl uh, fever clinics or the some the, for the special uh, procedures, of course, such as the currently for the bronchoscopy, the, the staff you do su such a procedure, even the patient uh, is not uh, suspect or confirmed cases. Uh, the N95 uh, uh, ventilator will be, uh, what well, I think will be better. Of course, except that this one is the who the protective the closing, yeah, uh, which are better. I, I think, uh, uh, I, of course, the face should uh, maybe it's required. Uh, in China, unlike uh, three months ago or two months ago, the resources nowadays it relative is not uh, uh, as difficult as previously. So uh, currently, even the risk level is decreased, but uh, many medical uh, host, medical staff still use uh, willing to use the N95 uh, mask. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a, clearly a problem in, in some areas, which is a concern uh, because uh, we do need to look after our staff. Now, there's a question here. It says, we have intubated patients with persistently negative test results. Is there a duration from the onset of symptoms or a number of tests that should be done until we can decide that these patients would, should be transferred to the non-COVID ward? And there's a, a, a rider, our COVID wards are already full at capacity. So I guess they're looking for an answer to how quickly can we say these patients are no longer infective or do not have COVID. So your thoughts on that. So a patient who's persistently negative for, um, and how many tests should they do before they say they're free of COVID or would, should they wait for symptoms to reside? Dr. Uh, pardon, I cannot answer your, your, your question. Uh, uh, yeah, pardon. Yeah. So, so if a patient's negative, a negative test. Yeah, um, the acid is negative. Yeah. Negative. But they're still yeah. ventilated. At what point yeah. can they be declared not positive and safe, I guess, for to be moved to a non COVID ward, to somewhere where there is they're non-infective. When do they considered non-infective? Non-infective. Non mm. non-infected. Non when they're no, free from COVID, so not yeah. not a risk to other people from COVID. Yeah, in Shanghai country, we still have five cases, and three of them is in still incubated, but all of them are the. 
viral nuclear acid is negative. Uh, some of them already last uh, two or three weeks already. Uh, we suggest uh, this patient uh, is not uh, contagious, but uh, we still worried about the, that patient. So this patient is still isolated in the, the, the special ward. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so, so it's di difficult, yeah, because uh, we were worried about that. Uh, the, of course, uh, theoretically, they have not uh, contagiously. Okay. At one stage, you mentioned the use of hydrogen peroxide and or one percent hypochlorite, weak hydrogen peroxide solution. How is that used, and what sort of dosing, and how how do we apply it? Hydrogen per peroxide. Peroxide. Hyd hydrogen per peroxide. Oh yeah. You had a slide, I think, Dr. Sear, with uh, hydrogen peroxide as a treatment or a cleansing oh. agent. It wasn't clear. How do you use it? Hydrogen cortical side. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you use it? You, you, uh, how do you, uh, uh, in China we we usually use the Master prednisone, not not a uh, hydrogen cortisone, or was or commonly used. But uh, based on, uh, uh, for uh, uh, yes yes uh, maybe uh, uh, the West country that you already use the cortical cortical side to for 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 uh, early or sepsis patients. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, how to use the the, the cortical uh, cortical steroid in? I uh, just uh, uh, based on our our our, our presentation, uh, for for severe uh, uh, for we use the mostly uh, the early on side for for this patient uh, below 10, seven to ten days and acute onset and uh, 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 such as uh, 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 rapid uh, progress uh, rapid rapid uh, uh, rapid uh, progress of lung infiltration. And uh, suffering from severe hypoxemia, and uh, and this patient have no uh, uh, low level of lymphocyte, uh, or uh, and uh, uh, and the patient uh, the interleukin six or uh, level was very high, so uh, there's an indication of uh, cardiac uh, indica uh, indication. Uh, uh, I read uh, uh, an article published in uh, uh, 20 years ago in critical care medicine. Uh, the side effect of the corticosteroid such as a uh, mesoprednisolone, dexomethasone, and the hydrocortical uh, steroid. Uh, uh, meso, uh, me mesoprednisolone has high risk of, of, uh, of uh, 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 met metabolic acolosis, uh, acolosis. Uh, uh, dexomethasone, um, the side effect, uh, are, are more uh, fear compared to other cortical steroids. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Xie and Dr. Hu. Uh, Dr. Friedman uh, asked for uh, Huyan Hua Qing. Yeah, it's vapor. Yeah. yeah, I understand it now. This, this is the vapor sterilized uh, the situation of the wood. Yeah, but uh, I, I just mentioned in my slide. Uh, Actually, we do not use the hydro uh, peroxide uh, frequently because uh, uh, still uh, the patient should be free of the loom. Uh, in, initially, we found uh, the multiple jet resistant organisms uh, outbreak in some looms, uh, single looms, but later we just used the phage. Uh, we, after we the vapor the phage of the to the uh, the, the, the sky and uh, and the va uh, vapor to the incubated uh, patient, and we found the the concentration uh, of the patient uh, the amount of uh, uh, slow response chapter secrets uh, decreased dramatically. That means the phage is useful. So later we do not use the hydroperoxide uh, vapor for the disinfection of the uh, the wood environment. 
Okay. okay. So there's now a, a whole series of questions about uh, the use of plasma therapies. Um, there's, recom there's the use of um, convalescent serum, but also IVIG, intravenous immunoglobulin, um, and also a question, two or three questions on ivermectin. Uh, do you want to comment on either of those, on the use of IVIG for um, the septic shock, uh, severe shock syndromes, and myocarditis, or in any other role, and the use of ivermectin, the uh, anti-lice uh, treatment? Yeah. Uh, I try to uh, answer this question. Uh, uh, IVIG may be useful for for a uh, 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 viral infection disease, but in China, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, high high immune IVIG uh, are seemingly not used in in treating for for for, uh, for a severe uh, COVID nineteen patient. Mostly use the convalescent plasma uh, CVIG. Uh, 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 to my knowledge, seemingly not used, but uh, but uh, uh, based on the uh, uh, Hong Kong's uh, clinical study, uh, for published in in chest, uh, high yeah high immune uh, IVIG uh, are useful for for severe uh, HIV infected uh, patients to reduce mortality and uh, and. Uh, uh, obviously de decrease the viral load for this patient. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree with uh, Dr. Xie's uh, opinion. In Shanghai, we, in our experience, uh, at the early stage uh, of uh, COVID-19 uh, epidemic uh, in Shanghai, we try to use uh, several uh, patients uh, use uh, IVIG, but later we found uh, no useful for such a patient. So uh, during the past two months, we also stopped to use uh, IVIG for the routine usage. It's, except very few cases, we suspected some the other bacterial or the uh, viral uh, uh, infections. Yeah. So so uh, IVIG we make the two stage uh, to use uh, the first one relatively popular use and later uh, most of them just stop uh, transfer to the the other immune moderator such as uh, uh, high motion dimorphic yeah, yeah I, I did some some uh, opinion about, uh, uh, of uh, uh, conversion uh, plasma treatment high high teach high tight uh, high treat uh, uh, of uh, uh, of uh, 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 specific antibody is very important. Uh, be, be, uh, uh, there was uh, two uh, clinical study published uh, last year in Lancet Respiratory Medicine uh, about uh, uh, H1N1 influenza. So it's this large, 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 large control, uh, 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 large, large clinical study. The result is negative for to evaluate the uh, convincent uh, and IVIG treatment for. Severe influenza uh, because the low uh, T trait uh, of uh, uh, special antibody, I think, is very important. Uh, based on our uh, China study, high uh, the, the post effective of uh, uh, in clinics, the, the con conversion uh, uh, plasma uh, special T trait is about uh, most about uh, four uh, six hundred and forty. Uh, so high T T high T Titrate, uh, titration uh, of specific uh, 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 antibody, well, I think it's very important. I, I'm, I'm concerned as now we're now nearly up to two hours and I'm concerned we may be cut off. So um, I don't want to finish the discussion just yet, but I do want to say thank you to Roche Diagnostics for their support for this uh, webinar and to the two speakers for their valuable input. And to also all of you who are listening and your questions, um, it's been a great experience. I think many of us have learned so much. And thank you for sharing your experience. Um, it's been very good. I, if Having said that, and thank you for your time, if you're willing to stay on, I've got two more questions which have come up. 
and they relate to management again, but self-proning and proning the patients, turning them prone either before or after they're intubated. What's your experience with the use of this? The use of proning in ventilated patients and your proning in patients prior to being ventilated. Later. Yeah. Putting the tummy down, yang fu. Treating them with the tummy down, face down, tummy down. Do you uh, proning? Pro proning? Proning. proning? What's the meaning? A so, uh, go on, Chiki. Yeah. Yes, putting the face down and tummy down instead of supine, prone. Turn the patient's body face down and the body down. Do you use that proning? Pro, uh, uh, the pro position for, for one Yes, position, positioning. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that you mean the pro 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 prone position for severe patient is mostly yeah. used in clinic. Yeah. Uh, in in China, uh, uh, for uh, for uh, for a critical severe patients who receive invasive ventilation, prone position is uh, commonly used for this patient. If the patient, uh, uh the general condition getting worse, uh, the PIP about uh, about about uh, ten and uh, ten centimeter of uh, uh, of 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 what level. Uh, and uh, 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 the uh, the PF ratio uh, below below uh, one hundred, uh, so uh, the uh, the patient, uh, uh, most of the patient uh, received the prone position uh, at least uh, uh, ten to twelve hours a day. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, for prone position uh, for this patient, uh, not only uh, improve the oxygenation, but also uh, imp uh, uh, promote. Uh, the airway airway uh, clearance for some patients uh, it is a, is a common use in China. Uh, what about those who are before intubation? Do you try prone positions? Uh, uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before in the, uh, so as, uh, for our uh, department, uh, not only for invasive and late patient, uh, for non-invasive and high flow nasal cannula patient, uh, if the patient uh, uh, have difficulty on 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 uh, on exploitation of sputum, uh, prone position is recommended. But the uh, uh, duration uh, of prone position is uh, is low uh, is is short compared to invasive ventilation. Uh, mostly is mostly is two hours. Uh, uh, uh tw two times a, uh, a day, for uh, three to three to five hours. I I I I have a patient where uh, of receiving. Uh, non invasive ventilation, the, the effect of proposition after receiving non invasive the, 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 the effect is very dramatic. Uh, uh, after receiving uh, proposition for this patient, the PF ratio increased from 126 to two, 20, uh, 200 uh, millimeter of mercury. Very, very good. Uh, so uh, uh, compared to uh, SARS uh, be, uh, and uh, in, in, uh, serial influenza is, is uh, some uh, COVID-19 patient, uh, the difficulty of uh, sputum, uh, sputum is more uh, uh, found in clinics. So prone position may be useful for this patient. Thank you. Thank you. Now, for those who have written questions, we will endeavor to answer those questions uh, as a written response in the next little while. If you could fill the feedback form in, and that gives us a way of contacting you and answering the questions that are there. And if you want a, a written response to the questions, please, um, please indicate that on, on the form. Thank you once again for your time. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And bye. Thanks. Thanks. Another time to to talk Thank about you for your, your time. It's been Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor Ross. The recording has stopped.